Some people cross your path and change your direction. No one knows that better than 16-year-old Winter Nisley. Even though Winter is very outgoing, it's still hard for him to make friends. And making it even tougher, the family moved here to Toledo, Ohio, just before the world shut down. He'd become a pandemic prisoner of sorts. Winter was born with a severe congenital heart defect. He had the first of three open heart surgeries when he was just two weeks old. So because of the multiple surgeries so early on in his life, it caused a lot of developmental delays. Winter's heart may have had a defect, but it's always had plenty of space for love and for sports. It is running off. Come on. On most days, you can find him buttoned down on the Xbox. Go all the way. When you tell a kid he can't play sports, uh, the next best thing is video games. But Winter's not just a mouse potato. Oh! Change, switch, switch! Go! He literally throws the football to himself, so he will throw it as far as he can in the side yard, and he will run to catch it. And his game of one-man catch caught someone's eye. Last summer, I drove by and I was just like, oh, this kid's, like, I could tell he was working hard. Oh, motion, motion, motion. Lavelle Dumont would drive by Winter's house on his way to school. Hey. And one day, he just decided to stop. I was surprised when Lavelle pulled up that day. Yeah. That never happened. I, I would be out there all day, every day. No one would come up. Winter calls me and says, Mom, some guy just stopped and talked to me and I gave him my phone number. <laughs> and I said, um, you did what? I didn't think about it at the time, like random guy pulling up in a car, like trying to speak to him, like, oh, nah, not the best look, not the best look. Go! But Lavelle was impressed with Winter's dedication. <sighs> and so he offered him some tickets to an upcoming University of Toledo game. <laughs> That's where he plays football. Lavelle Dumont is a 6'4", 300-pound offensive lineman for the Rockets. I think he's a product of good parenting. I think it's a guy that really understands the value of work. That work was about to pay off. Time out on the field for an offensive injury. Until he broke his leg in the first game of the season. I think that's a tough time going through a, an injury for a young man. And no matter where you're at in your career, especially where you've really worked hard to get to a point in time where you could have some success, but hard times often reveal good character, and Lavelle used his time to get to know Winter. We back in the game now. They may seem like an odd couple, but now they're just good buddies. Come on, Lavelle. You showing out for the camera, man. Who give good grief. Yeah, what are you talking about? You ain't got no room to talk. You got chicken legs. No, I don't got chicken legs. This is what you call a turkey leg? <laughs> That's what you call it. the wishbone. <laughs> While others were staying socially distant, they grew close. Lavelle actually goes out of his way to make time for winter. He comes over and picks him up, and they'll go play basketball, or they'll just talk. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And when playing Xbox, the buttons they push aren't just the ones on the controller. Dirty on you. You really What's the score? What is the score? The only time he's ever beat me, he cheated. No. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> For his 16th birthday party, Lavelle was the first name on Winter's invitation list. But Jennifer told her son Lavelle was busy. She was actually conspiring with assistant coach Rob Wiener to bring a whole group of Rockets to the party. That was an opportunity really for kind of our whole team to recognize that this is something that we really want to be all about and we should all be behind. And then Lavelle showed up. He came, gave me a big hug, like jumped at me a little bit. Winter's family recently made another move, but even though he and Lavelle are now miles apart, they're never far away. That's my buddy, man. That's my buddy. <laughs> I love Winter. He's a brother to me. He's a friend to me. He's my family. Time is free, but it's priceless. Here's one college football player who lifted himself just by lifting someone else. One human being seeing another human being and saying, this is somewhere where I can maybe put a smile on someone's face. 